it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'd like to take the time right now to say hello to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means the world to me. If you're not already subscribed and you like these types of videos, I hope you will consider subscribing. It is free. In this video, I have another holiday craft going on. I started putting this together and then I thought, you know what? I think I want to share this on camera. It's kind of like an unplanned video and you'll probably kind of get that feeling from it once you start watching me put it together. But if you are thinking of ways to gift money to people without kind of just throwing money into a greeting card, I haven't seen this done online. If you've seen it, let me know. I have never seen this particular one. It kind of just came to me. I'm not really taking credit for it. All I'm saying is that I've never seen this particular way of doing it done online. So if someone else has done this idea, let me know if you know. Basically what I'm doing is I'm putting together a bouquet of flowers, kind of like when you go to the floral shop and you purchase a fresh bouquet of flowers, it comes, you know, nicely wrapped in that uh, paper. What we're going to do is we're going to take our money and we're going to hide it in the wrapping paper and we're going to gift somebody faux flowers. You don't have to use this idea just to gift money. You can obviously, you know, skip the money piece of it and just do the floral piece. If you're looking to gift somebody, you know, like faux flowers, love faux flowers because they don't die. I think this is a cool little nifty idea if you like playing around with florals, which if you've seen some of my other craft videos, it's kind of what I like to do. <laughs> Stay tuned and watch me put together a, I guess we're calling it a holiday midnight celestial floral piece bouquet with hidden money. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've cut a piece of this craft, um, kind of like craft wrapping paper, and I cut the piece big enough so that my floral stems could fit inside of it diagonally. And what I've done is I've taken each individual bill and I've taped it with a little piece of tape at the top. Uh, don't mind the items that are randomly holding down my piece of paper. They're all taped up. The next piece I'm going to do is cut the same exact size piece that's going to cover the top of the bills so that you can't see the bills when I wrap the floral design together. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here is I'm taking the roll and I put it right on top of the piece that I cut and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I cut the exact same size so that it covers the bills. I'm going to do that off camera because I can't do that one handed. <laughs> so I went ahead and taped both pieces together um, and I just added some tape to the edge. Next you want to take your floral pieces. So I decided to go with these beautiful gold little leaf stems. Some of the leaves actually feel like they might be made out of like faux leather and then you have these pretty little shimmery ones. I got two of these at Michael's. I will try to link those down below. So we're gonna kind of put those up there like that. Next up, um, I decided to go with these really pretty navy blue floral stems, also at Michael's. I thought that the uh, velvet navy blue and the gold just went really well together. So I picked up three of these stems. And kind of like arrange them as you see fit. 
You might be wondering why I haven't taken these out. So what I did was I cut the price tag off of them, but I didn't want to take them out in case this color might not be something that they would like to keep. Maybe they would be able to go to the store and exchange these for something that might fit their decor a little better. I guess it depends on who you're gifting it to. I kind of arranged it like that. of gifting money to someone without just throwing a bunch of money into a greeting card or a gift card. Obviously, you can just do the bouquet piece of it. You don't have to do the money piece of it. And you can also do it on a smaller scale with smaller stems, making it a smaller bouquet. This one came out a lot larger than I anticipated, but that's because the stems that I went with were very, very big. I did want to go with this gold and navy blue theme, which I think was perfect for the holiday season. I absolutely loved this gold foil star wrapping paper, and I thought it gave it a nice, like, midnight sky celestial theme. What do you think? If you liked this video, please make sure to leave me a like down below so that I know that you enjoyed it. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this video. If you are not already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing below. I have some other holiday craft videos for you, so I will link those up here for you in case you want to check them out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!